So obviously you've you've been there, done it, you know, won numerous titles, but with a with a new concept like MAD, you probably get, even get somebody who's been around, you know, for, for decades in the game excited. You know, what what does it what does this new sort of project to, you know mean to you? Well, uh, we we and Rod Arrington and Eric spoke about something like this years and years ago, but uh, at the time there was nobody around who could uh, put it into fruition, you know. Yeah. So uh, to to you to come up, you know, to play title shots, you know, like a, like a boxing fixture, it's hugely exciting for myself because I can, you know, look I've, especially in this day and age, look forward to something to practice for then, and. Mm. Uh, I've only had a week, so <laughs> hopefully I'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, looking at current form, coming off the Challenge Tour and the Winter Series, your, your scoring game was, was definitely there. It was just the odd double here and there that let you yeah, down? Yeah, it's, 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 it's like, um, it's rustiness, you know, and um, the scoring will never, never, never let me down. But unfortunately for me, um, doubles can be my problem, but... Yeah. When you play well, they go in. When they don't, they don't. So it's all about confidence, and uh, hopefully that will. Uh, it's about playing all the time, and you need you need you need to be playing all the time. And the trouble yeah. is with this with this what we go through. It hasn't been able to happen. So. Mm. And obviously, with yesterday's announcement about Q School, you know the hard work you put in uh, on the Challenge Tour means you get the golden ticket to the second stage of the of the qualifiers. Which which can only mean a good thing in a cutthroat environment. Is it? Oh, I don't know. I I'm not very very up on that. I I don't, don't even know what the other thing was. No, no. I think I think because you finished in the top sixteen of the challenge tour. Yeah. Basically, you can move on to the second of qualifying rather than having oh, to right. oh, join the first stage. Oh, thanks. So that's good news. That's, that's put me up for the day. Anyway. <laughs> 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 I had absolutely no idea. But anyway, yes, oh, so thank you girls for informing me on that. I'm, I'm well happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, so all, the best, all the best tonight and, and good luck in Q School in, uh, in oh, January. Hi. Thank you very much. You can stay on for longer. You're full of good news. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Richie, yes, thank um, you. Richie, just in terms of your own form, do you feel like it's getting back close to somewhere where you want it to be? Yes, yes, I do. Um, I, I mean, uh, when you're not playing, uh, it gets you down. Uh, I've been doing this for 35 years and I really want to get back there. So uh, the hunger's there. So if, if, if I still got that, I can still play. There's no reason why I can't start winning again. And do you feel like an announcement like today will breathe new life into the amateur game and, and give incentivise players to... It, 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 yeah, I mean, the amateur structure needed to be overhauled to be honest BDO as you know was was going nowhere uh, other factions like pr promotions and all that were trying their others but this now seems to be professionally run uh, as, an, as an amateur organisation and I've always said you cannot have amateur people run amateur you know sport because you'll get amateur results but a sport to be run am as amateurs by professional people it can't fail. It really can't. So that's always been my saying. Brilliant. Thanks, Richie. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Anybody else? Richie. Oh, yep. yeah. Sorry. Uh, Richie, obviously, you succeeded at uh, the Lakeside, uh, of course. Um, was yeah. it a sad day when, when the BDO uh, uh, ceased to exist? Uh, from my point of view, no. Just glad to see the back of them because they were absolutely drab. Probably the worst sport in a uh, organisation of all. So they had no right to be there. So no, nah, he was. Um, no, not for me. No, I, I nothing but. No, never, never really got on with any of them because uh, my ideas of running a, a DAS organisation was certainly not theirs. I mean, uh, they were only there for the piss up half of them. So. Bye bye. I'm glad to see him gone. Thank you for that. Um, and, and when you think about that, um, when you were uh, going going through the amateur game um, all, the, all those years ago, how much of a difference do you think an idea like MAD would have had an effect on that? Well, 
it would have been hard for them because they would have been battling against other people like the the BDO. I mean, you weren't allowed to do anything with them around. That's why the PD, uh, PDC were formed, and they had to go to the High Court. So, um, just glad, just glad that we got professional people now running am the amateur game as well, and that can only mean success. Simple, simple. Uh, that's that's the honestly my belief. Thank you. Hello, Richard. Just one from me. Does it add extra pride having having the Welsh Championship there that you're playing for tonight to, to, to these tiles? Does it add extra pride? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's been a long, long time seeing people saying that, you know, I was best player on Wales, best player ever been in Wheels. I never thought of it like that. I'd have to see young players come through because I would be up forever. Uh, obviously, uh, when I play against them, I want to win. But um, uh, it is nice, nice the Welsh, the Welsh, the Gerwin Price is playing absolutely out of this world, Johnny Clayton, you know, so uh, I'm proud of every Welsh to come through and, and, and it's, it's nice that they respect me, you know, <clears throat> and they ask me for advice, but uh, when I play against them, of course, uh, I want to win, like, I'm a winner, so. Yeah. Um, also, how much do you look forward to playing gym tonight as well? Yeah, I, I, like I say, uh, every, it's a challenge there for me, you know, uh, uh, I'm, I'm I'm just happy to be here and playing, and this is something to focus on. And uh, it, it's, beyond, it's on behalf of uh, of the of MAD and professionally run. Like I see, it's been fantastic. We meet, I've been there since this morning, and everything has gone smoothly. Everything's professionally run. There's people around you, uh, advice, giving you advice, what to do next, all that. It's great stuff, and long may that continue.